Hello, everybody. Hopefully your mass housing crisis and pandemic is going all right and you are avoiding all infectious diseases and viruses and everything else in between. Now, today's story is going to be on what exactly has been going on with Vanessa Guillen and the entire situation. So for those of you who don't know, she was the one who was killed in the military. Um, what I would say what's the worst situation that we're in right now is what's happening after the public found out about this whole situation. So we all know the story, which I'm going to give you guys a really quick background sources in the description box below. But what's eerie, and this is where the story kind of starts to turn into more of a roller coaster, is what has the military been doing as a result of this? And so, for example, they said that there's no evidence about there being any sort of sexual harassment before the killing, which is complete lie. Like there's nobody just kind of doesn't, you know, commit any sort of harassment and then just up and be like, yeah, I think I'm just going to kill this random person. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. No, that's just not how that works. So anyway, bear with me. So here is like the full little background on this. So she was killed, obviously, right? Two months prior, according to the Washington Post, she told her family that she had been getting sexually harassed. Okay. All of a sudden, she went missing two months later. So we all know this. Then there's a soldier who was accused, this individual. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to glorify this individual by having his name you know, go out there and incentivize other people. But anyway, this individual, he was a specialist. He was approached by police, and then he killed himself. He apparently had a girlfriend at the time of the killing who might have actually been married to somebody else, but I didn't care enough to look into that aspect because it's kind of irrelevant. He calls her. He says, hey, I just killed this chick with a hammer. I need help cutting up the body. So they cut up the body. They tried to burn it. It failed. Okay. So here is where it gets a little bit more interesting, and this is where people don't know. So I'm just going to read you what New York Times has to say. A little side note, something that I also want to get into later, is the fact that literally on this base, only 20... There's By the way, there's a lot of deaths on this base. Only 20% has been solved. So I'm going to get into that here in a second as well. But anyway... Back to this story, here is what the New York Times has to say. Quote, More than 500 soldiers searched for specialist Guillen in buildings, barracks, fields, training areas, lakes, and trails at Fort Hood, an area that a spokesman compared to the size of New York City. Aircraft from the 1st Cavalry Division have flown more than 100 hours to help in the search, and more than 150 people were interviewed, authorities said. On June 30th, partial human remains were found near Leon River in Bell County, Texas. In early July, Specialist Guillen's family said that the remains were confirmed by the Army to belong to the soldiers. Now, we're waiting for the girlfriend to currently be charged, the girlfriend of the specialist who killed Vanessa. But the question is, like, what is the military going to be doing moving forward? So Senator Gillibrand of New York and Representative Jackie, I'm going to butcher her name, so I apologize. It's like S-P-E-I-E-R. Let me know in the comment section. Is it Spear? Spare? Of California. So they sent a letter to the Department of Defense's acting inspe inspector general calling for an investigation. However, this is where it gets really juicy because it's like military, you, oh my God, sometimes you're so incapable. Mr. Phelps, the special agent of the Criminal Investigation Command, said that there was no credible information to suggest the specialist who killed Vanessa sexually harassed Vanessa prior to the killings. So on the one hand, Vanessa's family was saying, no, she's been letting us know for months beforehand that no, guess what? The, this has been happening. I've been telling the military and they're not doing anything about it. And they're saying, well, no, we had no evidence that, they, that this, uh, this happened. <laughs> Do you really believe that there was no indication, no evidence that there's any sort of harassment up to the killing? No, that's just not how these things work. So after all this gained publicity, the military was like, oh, uh, Jesus, respectfully, oh, we might need to uh, do something about this. And so the military is assembling a panel of four civilian consultants to review the command climate and culture at Fort Hood, Texas. <sighs> Got to collect myself. There's already something called SHARP, sexual harassment and assault response classes. It's a mandatory class that everybody has to take. It's not taken seriously. The uh, Where they need to reform is an increased accountability about what's going to happen when they, these issues happen. What happens if you report this to the chain of command? What do they do? What happens if there is a murder that they cannot solve? The issue is a lack of action and follow through with the report. You fucking dummies. So here's the point. Here's them. They missed the point. The issue isn't 
well, the issue is the climate, but the reform has to do with the accountability. People are incentivized to commit acts when it's clear that there's little accountability. If there's a bunch of people that got killed in Fort Hood and we all knew that there was only one person who was arrested as a result, if you're a psychopath, you might be like, hmm, the odds are kind of in my favor. The truth is that they're right. The odds are in their favor. So with everything said, Vanessa's family wants an investigation. We will see what happens from this point onwards. The military is getting put on blast, rightfully so. Good. So this is a representation of a larger issue that requires a public's collective consciousness. Because the only reason why that this is getting any sort of steam is because it went viral. That is why. Thankfully, all of you are engaged in this topic. And that is a really good step forward. So for that, thank you.